Now I'm using the glazed donut chapati coffee creamer. It smells so good. I was gonna go to like this little coffee shop slash record store. I don't know, I just like, I don't really wanna like drive out and I have a really busy like day ahead of me. So it's just like, do I really wanna just add something to it? it I think it would've been like a cute, fun way to start the day, but there's just so much going on. And I'm just like, okay, just gonna have a chill morning to just get ready for this afternoon's activities. So with that noted, you're probably like, Kayla, what are this afternoon's activities? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. Um, this afternoon, uh, I am partaking in a puzzle competition. So I'll try and get some clips of that. This will be my third one I'm doing. This time is we, the last two competitions we've done has always been the 500 piece puzzles, which I feel like usually take us about an hour, but this, time it's going to be a thousand piece puzzle so we shall see how that goes i'm just going to spend the morning uh watching some videos and getting ready for the day like, probably going to speed reel this so enjoy the zoom zoom I'm all dolled up. Let's go do some puzzling. So today we're descaling the Nespresso. I've never actually descaled my Nespresso. Descaling agent. Okay. It's just telling me what descaling agent does. It's not telling me how to use it. Nespresso. This, this isn't helpful. It's not telling me how to actually use this. For complete information on descaling, please refer to user manual of the machine or the descaling information by visiting the Nespresso website and half a tank of water. Okay, starts to blink. Start over from rinse water tank, refill with two thirds. <laughs> the monster's your cake. actually talk about this yesterday 
but if you have an espresso machine and you're gonna descale it just like a heads up word of advice at least for like my specific Nespresso machine, it took about an hour from start to finish to descale. So if you're just trying to make coffee right away in the morning, um, I would recommend descaling when you have zero intention <laughs> of needing caffeine right away. Also, if you have an espresso, the pumpkin harvest, there, I don't know what Nespresso does, but their pumpkin pumpkin coffees are so good and this is coming from someone who doesn't like most pumpkin coffees nespresso does pumpkin right so yeah a couple things about yesterday it was my birthday i am officially 33 as i say birthday <laughs> and it was a really good day y'all i told my partner i was like you plan it plan it i don't care what we do but I want you to like plan it. I was just like, just for one day, I want to have like the zero say in what we're doing. And so we went out for brunch to hope really the food was delicious. I would say the service was, it took a while for service to get to us, but when service did get to us, it was good. I would also say the spot we sat at, so they literally have like a bar set up and the spot we were at was just not a great spot to sit at. It was literally the end of the bar. You're underneath like shelving. And then like you're right next to, if you were at the end, which was where I was sitting, you're right next to where they're like organizing their silverware, popping out pizza boxes, doing finishing touches to plates. So it's just like a little chaotic and I would have not wanted to sit right there. The food was great. I got, um, what did I get? Pork pork belly biscuit and it was literally like cheesy grits with pork belly pieces and a biscuit it was so good the price was like a little absurd for what you're getting food wise yeah we did that then we ran to walmart to get some snacks then we watched the vikings game and the vikings one y'all so chris watches these people who like live react to vikings games and um i'm like i should do that i should <laughs> live react <laughs> i know nothing about stats i have a general concept of like play moves on the field but yeah i don't know i feel like i make valid points sometimes the vikings played and we won by some astonishing magical miracle I'm just going to do a quick synopsis of this game for y'all. If you have zero interest in Vikings and sports, um, I'll put a little timestamp on what you can skip ahead to. But, okay, so this is what happens. Kirk Cousins, he's out with an Achilles injury, right? Out for the season. So Jaron Hall, who's our next up, right, rookie, hops onto the field at the end of last game because that's when Cousin fucked up his Achilles and starts this game, gets two drives, and then it gets taken out with a concussion protocol. Turns out he does have a concussion. So who knows if he'll be back next game. So two runs. So that's literally the start of the game, right? We bring in um, Josh Dobbs, brand new to the Vikings. He was with the Arizona Cardinals, literally got traded to the Vikings right after the Cousins debacle. Literally got this man on Tuesday, three days of practicing with the Vikings and he is put on the field for the rest of the game. The entire game, I was like, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Anytime there was a mess up, I wasn't mad. Anytime there was a dumb play, I wasn't mad. If anything, I was more mad at like the coaching staff and whatever runs we were playing, but I wasn't mad. First quarter, kind of sucky. Second quarter, could do better. Third quarter, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> the speed at which Dobbs learned he was just so quick at like picking stuff up and adapting and progressing and he just did so well it was such a stupidly fun game to watch and i feel like we haven't had a good just fun game to watch in a really long time and i loved it i loved every second of it we won it was 31 to i think 28 
and it was great. It was such a good game. And not to be like, I'm excited to see how the season goes, but I'm excited to see how the season goes. And this is a great segue into later this year, I'm going to a Vikings game. Yes, I'm so excited. There was a game. I found pretty nice seats at a pretty nice price. And I told my girlfriend, I was like, you, I don't care what plans you have this day. <laughs> like, can you please cancel them? And she was like, absolutely. So we're going to a game and I want to make like a custom denim jacket. I've wanted to make a custom den denim jacket for a while. I just didn't know like, what kind of vibes I wanted to go for, but I did find this really cute denim jacket that's in the Vikings locker room. You can buy it right now online. And I really like it, but first off, I don't want to spend that much. And the hilarity is I'll probably spend, I end up spending way more than that if I make my own, but whatever, it's custom then, right? It's custom, so it's it's okay if it's more than that. Secondly, I, I don't know, it's like a blue denim jacket. I kind of want to go with black vibes. That is what today is gonna be. I am going to be shopping around. We're gonna start at like Goodwill to see if I can find like a black denim jacket. There's a couple I've been eyeballing on Amazon, but I would rather just like buy a $10 denim jacket than a $30 denim jacket. So we're gonna go to Goodwill. We're gonna go to Hobby Lobby. We'll probably go to Michael's. Ooh, there's like a sporting goods store I wanna check out. That's what today is gonna be. And like the type, the type of jacket really determines like how much I need of all of the craft goods. So I really have to find like the jacket before I commit to buying the craft pieces. But I am very excited to try and make a custom denim jacket. And there's like a couple cute patches that I've already found that I really want to use. But yeah, I feel like that was a good wrap up of this weekend. Is there anything else I did this weekend? Oh, I did the puzzle competition. That was a lot. I feel like I explained that we usually do 500 puzzles and this was a thousand puzzle. And I think of like the 35 teams there were that were partaking in the puzzle competition, only like five actually finished the puzzle in the three hour time limit. Um, so yeah, the organizers of the that event were like, yeah, so next year we're gonna choose a less difficult puzzle, but yeah. They're doing another thousand puzzle at the winter carnival. And uh, I told my girlfriend, I was just like, yeah, if you guys need someone to help, like, she's like, don't call you. And I was like, I mean, you can call me, but I'll think about it a little harder than I usually do. <laughs> In Michael's I don't know maybe it's this Michael's or just Michael's in general I haven't been to Michael's in ages but I was not I wasn't impressed with what was in stock like they had some cute stuff but it was just like random stuff that I don't know maybe I don't need anyways Michael's is literally across the parking lot from home goods and Sierra and Ulta so clearly I have to go in there I don't even think I'll go into Ulta, honestly, but definitely want to hop into Sierra and Home Goods. I keep debating if I want Botox right here. Just right here. Because I furrow my brows a lot, and I feel like I'm getting deep creases there. I'm actually tired. So tired. And the funny thing is, I still need to go to Goodwill. And currently I'm in Eden Prairie because I really wanted to check out Shields. I don't know if you guys have Shields. I don't know if they're like a nationwide brand. But um, I know Minnesota, I think the Midwest for sure has Shields. And this is my first time going into Shields. And it's literally like Basco and Dick's and any outdoor sporting goods store I had a baby, but the baby mutated into this massive place that literally has everything you could ever want and more. It was wild. <laughs> it was so big. Like I didn't even walk through all of it. I was just kind of like, where do I even start? Where do I even go? I don't know. Okay, let's go. Okay. See, I didn't have what I was looking for. Alta didn't have what I was looking for. I am going to Home Goods though, because 
I remember my girlfriend is looking for a very specific item and I want to try and find this item for her because I feel like I always see these kind of items all the time and they aren't items I want but if she wants it maybe I can find it. How is it already one o'clock? <laughs> I literally left this morning at like 9.30 and it's already one o'clock. Anywho, um, where am I going? What am I doing? Who am I? Okay, we're going to Goodwill. I was gonna go to the one in Chanhassen, but I just don't wanna drive even further out. What is life even right now? I'm also really hungry. I think I might get Chipotle. That's what we're doing. Goodwill, Chipotle might swing by hobby lobby might go take a nap and then swing by hobby lobby okay um <laughs> so goodwill was a bust there was actually a lot of cute coats and i found this really cute coat but i was just like this is not what i was looking for you do not need it so i picked up chipotle and i'm heading home Oh, it's going crazy right now. Oh my god, if you guys can see her, she's so cute. What do you mean, Uncle? <laughs> she's gotten in this bad habit lately of jumping up on me. Like, you're a little parrot and you're trying to, like, sit on my arm. So now when she does that, I try, I force her to sit on the chair with me. Right, Uncle. Yeah, I force you to sit on the chair with me. I can't remember if I told you all this. I'm look, I'm on the hunt for a black denim jacket. And I found one on Macari, I bought it, and now it's just a waiting game for it to show up and see if it's everything I want and then some. I'm not sure how I feel, we'll see. Because the cut of it is definitely more just like, the cut of the jacket is more just kind of like a denim button up shirt, but it is like a heavy denim material. So I don't know, I was kind of hoping for like more of a, like a denim jacket cut. Oh well. We'll see, Echo, won't we? So I haven't bought any of like the additional things I need for it yet, just because I really want to like know exactly of what everything I need. Um, so I'll need like ribbon for the arm detailing. I'm gonna need some sort of felt material for the back detailing. I'm gonna need thread. Thread, I mean, I could buy thread right now, but there's no point in buying thread right now because I may as well color match it. Are you hungry? Do you want food? <laughs> yeah, you want food? Okay, go to your food. Okay, thanks, bye.